Good morning, folks. Today we've got a bit to discuss in solar wind, including potential problems with the newest solar wind reader. A star has collapsed, the sun isn't doing so well itself, and we've got your weather as well. But we begin over at spaceweathernews.com. We're witnessing a relatively calm day, no solar flares, no eruptions, no scary plasma filaments in Earth-directed position, and barely even any sunspots. The one visible group on the north was released from the Earth-facing quiet penitentiary this morning and immediately began rectifying the spread magnetism we saw yesterday in the umbral cores, now creeping back towards one another, but alas, doing so as the sunspot departs the frame and becomes much less of a threat. The grouping of activity leaving the disk has been lackluster as a whole, just minor activity on the entire right side there. Top left, any sunspots associated with those incoming umbral magnetic fields are not yet visible at the photospheric level. Solar wind here, interesting readings. Not something we haven't seen before and possibly not even real. So the first question that goes through one's mind is could this be the CME or coronal hole stream we've been expecting or could it be them combined hitting together? I'm going to say no. The CME and coronal hole stream wouldn't team up to produce such short-lived extremity in the telemetry and we've seen that error reading on Discover before. We know it's already having significant problems dealing with cosmic rays, and to top it off, there wasn't another machine on the planet or in orbit around our planet that read it like a legit solar wind event. It's worth noting that if you're not careful, you can run across videos online saying that it is a second solar wind source from somewhere other than our sun. Problem is, though, the detector only points at the sun, so any solar wind coming from any other direction cannot even be detected. Also, the concept is balderdash. We're in enough trouble with our star going to sleep and our magnetic field collapsing. We don't need to make up imaginary doom from the galaxy. Anyway, indeed, the experts expect CME impact later today, not likely to be major, and on the heels of that, we do have the potential for a coronal hole stream to arrive and ramp up the speed of the stream over the incoming days. By the way, that black thing cutting in front of the sun is indeed the moon. It is SDO eclipse season, and this satellite takes a block about once a day for a couple of weeks. Moving on to the supernova that wasn't. There is no question that a good-sized and bright star existed in the middle of the frame a decade ago, but after some sputtering of its brightness, it has now faded to almost undetectable levels. The mainstream explanation is that this was a no-nova collapse event into a black hole. Of course, for those electrically minded out there who have trouble with black hole science, and I am with you, we still have the issue of a missing star, and we should begin discussing potential source, current cutoffs, frequency changes, etc. Folks, I am now going to pull out what is becoming the best broken record in the space weather world. Index after index, across all particle and electromagnetic spectra, we just keep hearing and observing one thing for our star, a march towards grand minimum. This paper looks back at such changes in the past, like the Maunder period, looks at the detailed frequency matching flare activity going on now and finds that the sun is once again at the doorstep of that paradigm shifting state. Welcome to the future. That is indeed what much of our latest book is about. Effects on the weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, technology, and human health. Two weather stories real quick. North Island of New Zealand, eyes to the north along the Kermadec Trench as earth spots cometh and are not going to miss. Meanwhile, those tremendous storms we've been seeing in the United States are finally going to give way today after running up through the last of the East Coast on its bucket list and well up into Canada as well. Remember folks, registration is open for Observing the Frontier 2018. The sun, the solar system, the universe, human health, earthquakes, electric universe, and more. I'll see you there. Website members, we did indeed get that new Deeper Look episode out yesterday and sort of inspired another one in my head in the process. We've got the rest of the world's weather and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.